Hello everybody, welcome to the Blitz Pit Qualifier 2 semi-final versus Team Fantastic member himself, Calcium, absolutely glorious. Um, this is like the Blood Bowl presidential debate. We've got <laughs> we've got PC in as a moderator, and uh, me and Calcium may be uh, slinging some shit at each other or just having a laugh, whatever. Um, he's got a stripper, a tackler, a leader, and some skills on catchers. Um, and I've got a guard or a tackler and some skills on ghouls. So, best of luck, Calcium. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Let's fucking go. Best of luck, my brother. Let's do this. <laughs> so, for anyone that's new to the Blitz format, we're going to be facing one minute turns. This is a very, very tight format. Not a lot of time for thinking, not a lot of time for messing about. So if the guys aren't talking a lot, I, I'm trying to fill in some space. Obviously, I'm not going to try and say anything that's going to be coaching because, you know, both of them do, do need it. But we're just going to let them have whatever skills they've got, bring those to the table and see how we end up. It's a classic of tier one trashing. We've got some undead versus some wood elves. It's going to be some exciting blood bowl. And of course, all in a really tight time frame. But Jimmy coming off the back of a great win in overtime. We've got Calcium already plowed his way through two rounds with those wood elves. And, uh, and also doing a lovely one turn along the way. So we might see all sorts of action going off here. They're loading into the game. Obviously, I'm going to start a tiny bit behind it, but we'll uh, we'll try and catch up as soon as we can. Let's see where this takes us. Do you Let's know what I think get of... ready to Blood Bowl! <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking... I'm a... Do you know what? I think I've already made the first mistake receiving. I think I should have kicked, to be honest, because if you kick, they don't know how the first half's... Like, you know, it... in the second half, they know if they're 1-0 down and if they've got to stall it out and what have you, haven't they? Whereas if you've been turned over by some leapy bastard, they know that they that they can score at any point and stuff. So I think I probably should have kicked, but never mind. Yeah, though in the very first game Calcium played, that worked. He uh, he got the turnover touchdown in the first... He, he stopped them in the first half. It was nil-nil. No, it was 1-1 because it was lovely one-turner. That's right. All he had to do in the second half was hang back, wait for an opportunity and, and get it over. And he didn't quite manage to. Had to leave it till overtime. And all sorts of dicey shenanigans, but the Wood Elves took it home. I'd actually forgotten about that PC. Thanks for reminding me. Just saying. <laughs> no, it was it was mental, wasn't it? The one um, I was literally a one in thirty six away from really caging the ball and winning. And yeah. Nuffle said no, you know. But again. Yeah, your huge mistake was saying as long as I don't one in thirty six, oh, I'm going to yeah. be fine. Yeah, I'm going to go quiet now because I don't want to say any stupid crap like that. So. At that moment, all of us thought, well, then he's in trouble. Yeah, Jay Bazza, it was a turn seven, one turn touchdown, but we talked about this a little bit just before this stream kicked off. It was a turn eight, one turn attempt, and then he got a riot. So, of course, when the riot came, I I'm always thinking if you're set for the one turn, you you've got a good plan for the one turn. Sort of changing your mind with only a minute to go and trying to do it in two turns can be actually can be a huge problem. It's a really, really deep kick. Jimmy's going to have to pull back a bit to make sure this is secure because, of course, the elves have nothing but speed. And already we see one of the elves go off pitch. Wood elves aren't going to mind that hugely. All of their good pieces, of course, back protected in that nice wide uh, four defended four in front of them uh, set up that Calcium's gone for there. But it's never good to see an elf go, but it's, it's not the end of the world. Elves don't need to be at 11 to be dangerous. I always said two elves is too, too many. Oh, but with two down and one casualty, that's a big, big first turn for Jimmy. Are we going to see the Apothco in this early? No, we're not. He's going to live with one KO'd and one killed. 
tree down, of course, but the tree's fine. That frees up the guard to get him back into the middle of the field and be all kinds of use next turn if the elves do come flooding through. Uh, this time the first one in nine goes fine for Jimmy. And Have that calcium in boom instantly remove somebody. <laughs> Deep kick as well. What a horrible kick that was. I was. And without kick as well. Okay, so we are seeing the elves attacking down a flank. I think we're going to see the whole elf people pushing through. And he gets another removal back. So now it's a 10 versus 9 game. Are we going to end up with Blood Bowl 7s? Now, Jimmy's not going to mind this so much with the ball in his hand. Of course, you'd never want elves in your backfield. Unless you're a seven-year-old girl. Bloody hell, it took me a while to work that one out. <laughs> Yikes. Sorry, I wasn't being rude. Small girls like elves, don't they? Still. I suppose they probably <laughs> like iPod. <laughs> oh, yeah, just... <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so they're coming both ways around. There's elves all over the place. And both mummies, of course, stuck on that tree. A free guard, of course, doing some wonderful work in on cornering that cage. But with only one guard, it's impossible to be safe in every direction. It looks like we're building a Venga bus. For those that haven't heard that appalling expression, it's where you put a V on top of another V rather than the standard five on a dice type cage. The idea of it really is to stop anything uh, leaping in and getting a, a nice easy one die while still making all the dodges in at, uh, at a three dice disadvantage. So the tree goes down again, but of course it's armor so that frees up one of the mummies to come in and smash an, all, an elf, but for once, an elf's armor manages to, to, to land it. Just a little step backwards there from the zombie, just securing that field a tiny bit more. Perhaps looking at where the ball may end up in a few turns' time. Now, with that Venga bus nice and secured behind the front mummy, yeah, it looks like the elves are settling for trying to poach a piece, get those numbers back a little more even, or at least hold that advance. Not looking to take the ball on this turn. In fact, if I was born in the early 70s, and frankly I was, I might do a sort of Monty Python reference here and say something like, Run away! And we're seeing a classic elf wall forming well up in front of that mummy. Oh, yes. Yes, that. Oh, you yeah. look at that. And that dodge fails. <laughs> so the tree doesn't even try to stand, because, of course, that was probably going to be a late turn action. And probably why that wall went back in defense, just in case the tree didn't make it up. But that does leave a lot of pitch for these undead to see where they're going to move into. I would add the odd bit here, but I'm eating chicken. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, if Calcium doesn't eat the food quickly, the minute he's distracted, his children will steal it. <laughs> yes, cheeky three. Days. Oh, a three die hit there on that catcher. But the armor holds again. Oh, sorry, it fails, but it's only a stun. Yeah, that's kind of like holding, isn't it? <laughs> It's, it's well the elf's on field yes yes he didn't die I definitely didn't make a mistake no of course not Whew, a thrilling advance there <laughs> oh, 
do I? Yeah, the undead thing. storming down this field with a single square of progress. <laughs> now, of course, some people may have thought, that mummy's got a lovely position, let's go and reinforce around there. But, of course, the twat magnet tree could really have got some problems going if that had happened. Yeah. Mummy's heading up to keep it honest. The last thing he wants at this point is a tree in the way, and the tree failed. I'm gonna have a lie down. That's what I get for calling the things. tree Scottish. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. You, I'm <laughs> certain you're not implying that all Scottish things are lazy. Come <laughs> on, you Scottish. I would, I would dream of that. <laughs> <laughs> Calcium, just wondering here if it's worth moving any other elves at all. He's got 30 seconds to decide. Oh, he's rolled another one. He's had some crap Bloody dice so far. Hell. Oh, these are not the dice he was looking for. And of course, Wild Elves build beautifully in this format and are notoriously good. Um, they don't get a lot of rerolls. And one of them's brought in by a leader as well. So if the leader goes down at any point, that's even one less. However, still plenty of elves to worry Jimmy about advancing too fast or too quickly. And that Scottish tree may actually decide to do something at some point. Or perhaps it's just obeying Scottish COVID rules do state, I think, that you can't actually see anyone ever again. <laughs> now, Jimmy looks to have found a lot of space up this left-hand side, and he's advancing most of the pack around the ball up there. It's a GFI free move for the ghouls and the white, of course, but shutting the back door, perhaps not quite so easy. Yep, that old pack of six, all four ghouls and both whites have gone that way, maintaining that Venga bus shape. A zombie's managing to join them and just muddy that picture a little, leaving the mummy to blitz and tie a lot of elves up as it does. It's never easy trying to enter Jimmy from the back door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we'll just leave that one as it is. <laughs> Classic calcium. Maybe I shouldn't have made that block actually, because now he's not on the. Yeah, that side step is going wherever it feels like. Yeah, he's not on the not on the mummy of course, anymore. Really, really helps with the one turn. That side's reasonably high on the priority list, behind every single other elf that has good skills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the thing. I could have taken the both down, couldn't I? So I thought. Let's just take the hit. There's a chance of both. I would have taken the both down there. He's good enough and my zombie's crap enough that I didn't care. Okay, now this is interesting. We're already seeing some pressure on that Venga bus from the L. Is this a turn where they're going to go for it? It sure looks like it. It does look like they're coming in and coming in in force. Coming in hard. No, oh, he even gets the tree up. Now, a lot of people might be wondering why these mummies don't have any guard or any tools at all. And very often in NAF now, the, the sort of the meta for undead is to leave your mummies un. They've still got a mighty blow, of course. They can still do a lot of hitting, get a lot of damage done. And they just tend to get left behind in a lot of advances. As we've already seen here, Jimmy's using his ghouls and his whites to do the advance. The mummy's trying to tie up all the other elves. And a classic elf wall forming here. Very hard to see Jimmy making a lot of progress this turn. But those elf dodges are just failing left, right, and now. Of course, as long as the elves stay on pitch, Kaos won't mind too much. Still gives them, even an elf on the floor is incredibly dangerous.
already we can see this elf flesh pressure pushing that shape, that that uh, that finger bust shape out of shape. Only a push on this side stepper. Now there's a really interesting choice, choosing to go to the sideline, keeping that ghoul exactly where it is. Could of course have chosen to push further in and take some other hits, but without any block on it, and obviously any other hit would have been three die. It's very very hard to justify. Jimmy wanting that side stepper removed if possible only knocks it over. And as I predicted, not a lot of forward motion this turn, but he's already in the opponent's half. And he does have three more turns after this to get that ball all the way to that line. Using all of those seconds, trying to work out is he trying to move the ball forward? Is he staying, keeping it safe where he is? Looks like he is going to choose to uh, to double base that dancer. Or just keep the tackle on it. Just keeping the tackle on it for now. I should probably mute while I'm thinking here. <laughs> <laughs> Or, you know, think in your head like normal people do. Wow. Oh, well, but of course, with time. so many years of time of streaming, said that'll do. thinking in public has become second nature to the, these fantastic warriors. <laughs> these titans of the Blood Bowl pitch. <laughs> now, you or I might say there's a very easy degree there is. Oh, that was a saucy little dodge into three tackles. And here comes the jump with all of those tackle zones cancelled. One die on the ball. Gets the big pow. There comes the bright sun. Something calcium's not used to with his children. <laughs> uh, but the ball has fallen in a nice place for the undead. All sorts of ways that could have bounced out into a nice elf spot, but this time it doesn't. Calcium's got to decide does he, does he twist? Does he stick? Looks like he's going to stick with it there. And just see if he can knock this white over. Put himself a scoring throw it out. So we can get the ball to that isn't catchable by anything undead very easily. Is he still going to go for it? Hmm. No, he's taken that hit on the white. Choosing to just knock some undead over. Muddy the position and perhaps make the next turn even oh, more available. Get the for fuck him. out of town, Calcium, you cheating elf bastard. He does go for it and gets it on a big... Big three plus pick up there and dodge. Oh, sorry, four bitches. plus pick up and dodge. <laughs> Takes the ball and secures what could be a very, very handy looking position. And the throw. Is he going to reroll? Yeah. The throw didn't work. But the reroll saw it into the hands of that uh, a lovely catch that went around the back of the tree. Confirmed. Lovely, lovely turn there of seeing the chance, I taking the one die, and then just rolling with the punches on an elf and seeing and where that wonderful defend. agility and speed can take I you. Actually, he's got to oh, find a way of getting shit, something on this ball or something back to tackle it next Oh, fuck turn. off! Oh, it would have been a lovely push, but instead it's a one in nine, it's a both down. The wrestle takes the dancer down, but that's not what Jimmy was looking for. He wanted a lovely little push there, putting him just that little bit nearer to getting something on that ball carrier. And then a roll of one on the GFI. <laughs> Makes the dodge, but <laughs> fails the GFI. Oh, shit. Snakes <laughs> it, the, the one in 36 of Doom. That's ridiculous. That Oh, God, it would have been, been quad skulls if I'd got the push. It would have been quad skulls. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to come in chat saying I feel a bit weird about turning you over like this, Jim. Obviously, of all the people in the whole of the Blood Bowl universe that I don't want to do this to right now, okay, <laughs> it's you. But we got a job to do, haven't we? Do you know what I mean? No, oh, yeah, fair enough. Everyone's been lucky against me, honestly. I've I've been one deed three times by Wood Elves, and every time they've powered me. <laughs> 
in blitz we can all see that was a tacit admission by calcium there that it was the luck of the dice and not the quality of the plan that worked <laughs> <laughs> always <laughs> words to live by that <laughs> but now the ball is gone and Jimmy is for law yeah yeah now this is a, an interesting point in any match Jimmy's got to think am I going to try DL him and win the second half or am I going to try and force the score and see if there's anything I can do in this half? Oh, no, I didn't get the option there on the sideline. That's some bullshit, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't get the option to get powered then. Oh, Elves now busy running away and hiding. I, I, took, I took the push, that's why. No, oh, fuck me, I'm an Yeah, idiot. he took the push. <laughs> Derp. So you can tell I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. The <laughs> I had this good idea that perhaps surfing you was a, th a thing. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. So there's just n almost no pressure Jimmy can bring to bear here. No. Oh, man, Even the one white that was perhaps going to vaguely look threateningly at the ball is now marked up and looking harmless. Yep. <laughs> right. Now, if I was going to try and find a positive here, and I'm gonna have to go looking hard. It's perhaps that there's a, a war dancer with a lot of undead around it. That is definitely the upside, yes. Yeah, I think I, it's, you know, this isn't coaching. Jimmy knows what he's doing. That war dancer's gonna get hit. It's gonna go down, even if it takes a reroll, probably. And then something is gonna kick it in the face. Yep. And if nothing does, I'm going around Jimmy's house and kicking him in the face, because <laughs> that's the only plan here. <laughs> It's a three die. Here comes the pal. Go on, Jim. Kill him. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> Armor holds, but there's another thing to face. Just six assists, meaning an automatic armor break. Let's see what this injury is. I think we all know it's likely a stun, but... <laughs> Didn't get sent off. Yes! Best Boom! Possible it is a stun. <laughs> I am so tempted to counter foul you right now. I can't tell you how much I'm tempted. <laughs> now, Calcium's got to face the fact that he either scores early and faces three on the line of scrim hits, or he lets that dancer get fouled a second time. I tell you what, I'll pull down his pants, give him, give you access to his bum cheeks for all I care about that player. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. You're gonna, you're gonna leave him up yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Fucking hell, Kelsey. Good God, honestly. Oh, now man. this is a time where Jimmy's absolutely got to think, how am I going to win the second half? And obviously, de-elfing calcium is the best way to do that. If we check up that sideline, we see one dead elf, one KO'd elf, and of course with the elf scoring in uh, in turn eight, that's only going to be one re-roll on getting it back. Elves are looking at nine, ten maximum, and one of them's a tree. Oh, what a twat. I forgot about that, elf. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. It's uh, it's drawn the free roll out of Jimmy, but it did get powered. It wasn't yet another one in 36 with the Jimster. And yet another stun. The armor breaks are coming, but the elves are not dying. When elves don't die, you kind of feel cheated. Well, 50-50. Boom! A KO on that wood up. So now we've got two. elves oh. that really need to make a four plus to come back. Not a 50-50. No, throws the reroll, throws the apothecary in just to make sure that dancer's there for the second half. So the elves are going to have at least nine, possibly ten. Well, GG, Calcium. Yeah, it's looking pretty bleak for you, but I've been known to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory at this point. You many, did many nearly times. mess this up in game one, so, you know, hope springs eternal. <laughs> the elf did not come back, so it is only nine elves, one of them a tree against a full undead team. A blitz here, or a perfect defense, or Calcium's children deciding that actually they want some parenting could really still see this match just turned on its head. My eldest son, Kaz above all, is really unhappy right now because he's having to look after my youngest too. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully unpaid. Oh, totally, yeah. <laughs> I barely feed them, let alone pay them. My wife put forward this idea that my children should be paid for chores. I'm like, well, then why did we have them? They're paying me for chores. They're called, you know, that's a worker. That's a job. 
Plus, they're so terrible at everything I ask them to do. That, frankly, they'd be paying me. <laughs> oh dear. That's always my strategy, to be honest. Be terrible at anything anyone asks you to do, and then you don't get asked again. <laughs> yeah, you won't get asked again, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'll help. <laughs> and break the three first the three plates you wash. <laughs> very, very rowdy elf set up here. Isn't it? I guess we could call that a blitz defence. I mean, we could call it that. What's it that? isn't, but we What's could. What's defence? Oh, and it's a riot! So Genie's less... Calcium's got to be smiling. Yep, yeah, gives him a free turn of stall. I'll be honest, I've pretty much given up now. Like, I haven't really given up, but I've given up hope. <laughs> I'll obviously still fight tooth and nail every Gosh. turn, do the best I can, but... but... It's ble it's bleak, Jimmy. I can't lie to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that that's the problem that I have is obviously streaming. You've got to talk all the time, haven't you? And yeah. I can't help but be honest in my assessment of this is fucking horrible. Oh, <laughs> and that's the last thing the undeads needed. It may only be a zombie, but of course numbers were the one thing Jimmy had, and now he sort of does. Yeah. So now we're in a ten versus nine game. And a cheeky little early elf dodge through there, causing problems in the backfield. And as we said earlier, if there's one thing Jimmy doesn't want, it's things in his backfield. <laughs> Calcium didn't even buy him dinner first. <laughs> that's my Fowler gun as well, isn't it? I like that's... Yeah. Now I'm trying to see a way this this could be a misfield with the ball bouncing out and getting thrown to an undead player, but <laughs> as I understand the rules of Blood Bowl, that's not going to happen. No, he could go for a pass in Blood Bowl 2020 and deviate it. That would be good, wouldn't it? That would. Like you look instead, at instead, he's just hit, taking the ball and running away. Yeah, like generally, but then of course, if he, if he passes here, what else don't need to score? <laughs> and as long as they've got the ball and an elf in the deep field, Jimmy's got to go in every direction at once. Yeah, it's brutal. It's brutal defending elves when they can score at any point. That was why I maybe I should have kicked. Like, as soon as I'd chosen to receive, I thought, OK, I might get some damage, but I probably should have kicked, shouldn't I? Too? Yeah, the elves don't want the ball first up. Yeah. Even as dwarves, I would often kick to elves, even though I love to go in and try and get a bit of damage. Yeah. Oh, shit, I've run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I think I played a really crap turn there. To be fair, I was twixt in between. I didn't really know what to do, so hence I did a lot of nothing. To be honest, the end state's fine. You've got a nice screen on one pitch, preventing a lot of L, a lot of undead putting pressure in the backfield. The ball guy's screened, and if he comes deep for that, it's going to leave the other side open. The trees locking down the centre of the field. A couple of elves there helping it, and something in his backfield meaning he's at the moment. Yeah, he blitz backwards rather than forwards. So. You may have ran out of time, mate, but I, I personally liked how the end state. I thought it was good. Yeah, you know, um, safe moves first. Secure the ball. Make sure the opponent can't get the blitz. So, um, you know, sack the ball carrier. Yep. And then and then you work from there, even with one minute turns. Um, but Absolutely. This, this is the power of Wood Elves, isn't it? They're so strong, especially in this situation where, you know, I'm, I'm on the front foot. They're yeah. so strong. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, Jimmy's looking for a critical fail, an early turn one in 36 or something like that. Yeah. And of course, Calcium's looking to not do anything early in a turn that's risky. However, we have got another elf off. We're at eight elves, ten undead. And of course, one of those elves is a tree. If you haven't picked up on my heavy sarcasm yet, I don't rate trees in this matchup. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, they did a good job in game two holding a lot of dwarves at bay. Or game one, it was. Yeah, it was the wrong elf, wasn't it? If only that that, that Kaz had been on the fucking dancer, that would have been. Awesome. Yeah, that would have been lovely on the dancer. I think even elf coaches love it when dancers die. <laughs> so not everything going the elf way here. I mean, it's still obviously very much their favour, but you know, it's still going to take a bit of coaching to get out of this in a good place. Yeah, You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> I am. There's always a chance. 
Plus, Jimmy, you're like me. You may see it as bleak, but you're scrappy as hell. He may be beating you, but he's going to have to keep beating you. Thanks, PC. Yeah, that's the, I'm, I'm glad you understand that it's not till when, when I just say this looks bad. <laughs> no, I'm the same. People always say I'm very negative even before going into games. I might be. It doesn't mean I'm not going to tooth and nail or whip in. Yeah. And I've always said that about me. You might beat me, but you're going to have to keep beating me because I'm going to keep coming. Mm. Uh, I was trying to make themselves some space, sort of fake that they're trying to... Which they might, because of course 2 0 probably does wrap it up. Yeah. And again, all those elves in the backfield means Jimmy's really got to probably think about taking that dancer down again and perhaps not do the advancing on the ball area that he'd really, really like to. Plus, of course, whilst there's a lot of fast players on an undead team, the mummies are not. And that's a real key asset for the undead. And hence, that mummy over this side, all it can really do is try and base up that tree whilst everything else tries to get away from it. Now, Jimmy putting some pressure finally into that backfield, which he'd be happy about. Probably, I think we're still going to see a blitz in his backfield on those advanced elves. But as I said, he's got to create a situation where an early turn fail really can open up the position for him. So hence, he's basing up all three of those protecting the ball carrier. Now, even though those have got dodged, that's still a 1 in 36. It's still just that little shot of an opportunity. Good. Yeah, that might be trying not to get too isolated up, too far back. So that's why we saw the zombie come back. And finally a power on that dancer. Armor break here would be nice. Gets it, but again, only to a stun. Not for the first time in this blitz pit, Calcium, Calcium's elf armor really doing a good job, or even when it fails, they're just not going off pitch at the level that you'd hope from elves. What Jimmy's really looking for of here, of course, is a route at... Or, as I said, that early turn fail. Now, this Wrestle Ghoul is uh, creating some interesting problems because it does manage to get round and base the ball. So whilst Calcium does have that upfield advantage, he's making some of the undead head. It's now a, exactly what the Elves want. They've stretched the game out all the way along the pitch. <coughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just when Jimmy creates the pressure, Calcium relieves it with a big casualty on one of those ghouls. And once again, he's got the numbers of advantage in his backfield. Do you know, I, I read on Reddit that if you base the ball, you automatically win. I don't understand what happened there. Yeah, Jimmy, that's the problem with listening to shitters that know very little about Blood Bowl. <laughs> so, I'm trying so hard not to swear for you. No, it's all right. If you, you keep swear, mentioning Reddit, I'm not going to be able to stick to that. Just don't say cannot. That's the only... That's the only... <laughs> Words that All you right. can't say. So can I say that everyone that plays Blood Bowl and talks about it on Reddit is an absolute moron with the opinions of a four-year-old? Yes. Good. You could call them stupid. I mean, I wouldn't anything. say that, but I, if I if I <laughs> wanted to, I could. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's someone on Reddit with reasonable opinions about Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I maybe just one. Don't have the, I don't have the days to go looking and find them. <laughs> Anyone that does go on Reddit, of course, I'm kidding. You're all lovely people and your views on Blood Bowl are just as valid as someone that knows what they're talking about. <laughs> oh, now we do see a tiny little glimmer of hope for Jimmy because the... <laughs> oh, but no! <laughs> Nuffle giveth and Nuffle taketh away. The tree roots, that's good. But then it falls over, which means it can stand up again, and that's bad, and it kills a zombie which doesn't regen while doing it. Really, Jimmy's looking for a bolt from the blue here, the hand of Nuffle handing him the ball. That sort of speaks volumes about this game, doesn't it? Even when something goes bad for me, it ends up pretty good. <laughs> that was just fine, yeah. You're, you're, you've equalised the numbers a tiny bit more, and the tree isn't even rooted. And another lineman gone, so the numbers swinging every turn. I said we might end up with Blood Bowl 7s. 
and I may have overestimated the numbers. <laughs> now, are we going to see a boot come in on this dancer? It's a huge risk with the numbers as they are, but Jimmy does need a turn in fortune. Replacing the dead ghoul with another one vaguely hassling the ball, or at least looking at it in a funny way. You really need to power here on those three dice, but gets one. Again, it's it another removal. If it is, this could see the sort of swing we're needing. From Jimmy's point of view. It's a stun. At least buys him some time and space. You can't see the ball coming forwards this turn. And the foul does go in. I thought it was going to. Doing a proper run-up. We all know that adds. But also... People may think, oh, he's just running to foul because people like to. If you look where he's ended, that also means there was no easy dodge outs for the dancer if it didn't even stun. But both the elves downfield are now stunned. The tree is on its ass. The few elves that are left have to protect this ball or find a safe space for it. Yes. We're now down to six elves and for some reason a tree. <laughs> Only a push there on the white. It's nice to remember those do still happen even in this game. And a classic long sideline cage oh, there. I play on Xbox. Oh, no. <laughs> which presumably the ball is going to run up into the middle of. And there it does. <laughs> Seven, Six, oh, seven, fuck eight. off, Carl Seaman. You and beautiful that, Scottish bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that tree splint, sprinting like... I was trying to think of a famous Scottish sport person and I've just come up completely blank. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'm sure there was someone Scottish that used to sprint in sort of the late 70s, like that person. <laughs> but that white, even with two dodges, can only base the ball, so that doesn't look productive. Instead, I think we're going to have to see an attempt at elf removal. Yeah, to the guards going in. Tree's got based, which of course utterly removes it because that always works. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. Fuck it. No guts, no glory. Yeah, it's time for a change of fate. Sometimes that means you've got to roll a lot of dice and have So this ghoul can hit the ball, and it manages to get there. Oh, it only gets the ball down. It doesn't bounce out, though. That's not what Jimmy was hoping. Anything that went out on the sideline there could have been but that's not been the way this game's going. Still, ball on the floor is better than ball in an elf's hands. All right. Now, that white's coming over to do some reinforcing. Knew it would. Move from undead either side of the dancer, which, of course, is back available this turn. But now it's either having to do a 3 plus 2 plus out or a leap. Yeah, David Koufad. Yeah, there you go. There's the one sporting guy they've got. <laughs> They've got one. I can't believe him. <laughs> David Coulthard, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how naturally fast David Coulthard is, and I oh, recall yeah, it was when he was fast. Yeah, it was in a car. Yeah, he was I'm in sure a car. I'm sure there was an Allen someone that was a, a Scottish sprinter. I think that was before they invented deep fried Mars bars, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bollocks this up. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking that. So, Calium Calcium has admittedly bollocks this up, and now he's looking at how does he sort that out. Oh, with a saucy dodge that popped dodge. That's not going to help, though. He's pushed the ghoul on the edge. It's still in a tackle zone. Is he going to try oh, the, the 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus, three plus pick up? After a 3 plus dodge. Not even needing his dodge because elves, oh, cheating off. little buggers that they are. <laughs> Leaps up on another three plus, that's three three pluses. <laughs> Mocking the concept of re rolls. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's 
say calcium. As I always said, who needs rerolls? Just don't make mistakes. Oh my god. So even though he left his ball blitzable and the one die did work, he did some three pluses because elves. Yeah, elves pretty good, aren't they? Turns out. And simultaneously any managed to... That, any other race and that's game over, isn't it? It's just horrible. Yeah. Although, remember, he needs to score, not just stop you scoring. Yeah, absolutely. And, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with the counter score. Yeah. Even though I bollocked up this drive totally, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. I think that's pretty much how I would say it, yes. Although there's been a lot of removals making some of the good ideas you have not viable by the time you came to try and use them. Jimmy throwing a re-roll in there because, of course, he needs to get some pressure in on that ball. And that turn did manage to end with a lovely screen ahead of the ball carrier, meaning Jimmy had nothing that could advance towards it. And he gets another removal. So we are oh, getting to peak go. elf, as Dionysian would call it, where there's very, very few elves left. But, of course, you only need two elves to ruin your day. And even one elf will have a go. And he's based the ball, so as Jimmy says, Reddit will tell you that's a win. Should have left him the one. <laughs> now things have got so desperate that that zombie had to try and get back relevant, even if it meant leaving this dancer an easy dodge out. And sure enough, that's the first thing we see tried. He ruin us if. But with so few elves left, he needs all active. Now, of course, we have got tackle on this dancer, so of course, he does absolutely nothing because elves <laughs> didn't do anything when it was a three plus. <laughs> nope. Cheeky little pass there to the other dancer. And that's, that's a sort of ineffective screen. It's like a Japanese wall made of paper. Mm -hmm. There's a route right through the middle, but of course, you need an undead that can get there. And now that elf looks like, yeah, closing that door. <laughs> oh, God. And even the final elf makes it two plus and all five elves are now in awful positions for Jimmy and even the tree is just playing an absolute blinder this game so there's an elf in scoring position there's a ball that Jimmy can hardly get to he can base it but it's going to be very hard to hit it unless he does something suicidally reckless to see if it works and it may well be time to try that because this game's going south quicker than a racist American. <laughs> Jesus, PC, I love you. <laughs> Alright, so four plus in. And then this yep. guy has For to a one die on a bludger. So four plus six plus. Easy. Just how about one in nine into Kaz? <laughs> now, of course, wonderfully for those, anyone that's new to Blood Bowl and watching this stream, for a start, what the hell are you doing here? But secondly, Jimmy did leave a ghoul downfield as a scoring threat, so if somehow that had worked out, he had some way of trying to equalise this game. <laughs> but now, of course, it's looking very, very bleak. Yeah. Unless one of Calcium's kids comes and just turns the computer off, this is looking very much like an elf win. Yeah. Yeah, I'll well done, Kaz. one of my kids if they come near me right now on the PC, I'd swear to God. <laughs> I have to say, there was a, a game in Blitzpit I lost because my son just at the wrong time interrupted in the wrong way. And it's my fault. I let him break my concentration and then change my plan mid-turn because of it. I, there was a tiny bit of shouting, but he, he wasn't to know better. Oh. And like I said, it's, it's not his fault, it's my fault. My concentration should have been better. 
So again, Jimmy's going to try anything possible here, but it, it might even be my dice. <laughs> six plus six plus mummy dodge or something ridiculous like that. <laughs> I still haven't played that very well. Okay, so um, it's a good job my dice have been pretty spectacular, isn't what, it? What, because you've left an incredibly easy one die on the board? Yeah, just saying. Yeah, me too. Of course, there's no no real good recovery options unless it somehow bounces ridiculously off two elves and out the other side, but you have left an easy one die on the board. Yeah, the problem is if it's the easy one D, uh, yeah, there's no recovery, is there? So There's no recovery at all. It's almost better to do the six plus six plus from the from the mummy. Which would still then be a one die. No, no. Oh no, you can cancel it, can't you? Yeah. yeah. So here we what go. about you? I was quite surprised to see that go for it work. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, halfway there! Oh wow, that would have been amazing. <laughs> First six, but not the second six. In goes the reroll, just because why not? The GFIs uh, were sixes, funnily enough. So but, yeah, crazy, crazy. plenty of sixes, but one too few. In fact, that final dodge was a five, so it was so near, but so not near. quite near enough. What a cracking game of Blood Bowl, and at least everyone was laughing throughout. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, do you know what? I feel a bit weird right now because obviously I played a win at all times. My dice were crazy good there, weren't they? I didn't fail a lot, even with the removals. Everything I decided to do worked, and it's it's just a nightmare to beat elves when that happens. And in the end, I actually outbashed you, didn't I? I think you had four casualties to my three, um, something like that. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I would looking at that, I would say you were lucky, but yeah. also you you put into action plans that allowed you to get lucky if you were, if you see what I yeah, mean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's often the secret to elf play is is yeah, this will need to be lucky, but it's the right time, and if it is lucky, it can solve everything for them. Yeah, I um, to be honest, um, having the one D on the ball carry was nice, but everything you know, everything went perfect, didn't it? Even though I I almost didn't recover the ball, and then I thought if I recover the ball here, Jimmy screwed. Um, so it was almost you know it was almost too good an opportunity not to do. Oh, absolutely! And, no, you had to. Yeah, I, I thought it was the right time to attack. I thought you attacked in the right way. The little dodge into three with tackle zones was you know saucy, no, but if out. it didn't I work, no, I dodged out. I dodged out. Oh, uh, okay. Plus. And then, right. and, and basically, what I was doing is I was um, because there was no guard around the ball carrier. Yeah. So you know, um, my my it's, sidestepper made it really difficult for Jim to effectively cage there. So, it is the one guard problem. Yeah. yeah. One guard is he, and you did manage to you know pull one guard just slightly out of position. That was enough to give you the shot. Yeah. Uh, Dimmy, I want to absolutely clarify that I'm not blaming my kids. I'm blaming my a, a level of not of not coping with a very mild distraction at a key moment. Um, I should have had better focus. Oh, I blame my um, kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, that's a hundred percent down to me, not him. No, oh, well, congratulations, Kaz. And, oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Are um, we going to step on in for the final, Jim? You and I. Uh, yeah, might as well. Yeah, that would be well. amazing. I would be so happy if you guys cast it. Obviously, I'll do my I'd best love representing. To. I'll do my best representing Team Fantastic. Fantastic moving forwards. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to dip out now, guys. I'm going to take five minutes and yeah, put sure. it on the final. I oh, always yes. wanted to watch Group F3 because it's just packed with quality in almost every place. There were so many good coaches in. And who would have predicted that Calcium would have been one of the ones in the final? Freaking <laughs> nobody. That's who. Nobody. <laughs> Defeat does not exist in this dojo. Let's go, champ. <laughs> See you later, boys. <laughs> See you later, Kaos. Good luck in the final. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, no, more, um, he didn't. I didn't. You didn't. If only there was sports betting on Blood Bowl, someone now would be quids in, wouldn't they? They'd have just thought, oh. someone's. You know, the bookies would have given a thousand to one on Calcium being in the final. <laughs> nah, nah, they wouldn't. They wouldn't at all. Oh, I'm kidding. Calcium yeah. is a Calcium is a, a such a good coach. He underrates himself the whole time, but you can see from the way he's played this, he, he really knows what he's doing at the moment. Yeah, exactly. So thank you very much, PC, for the commentary. Ah, oh, pleasure. And like I said, I'd be here watching, so I may as well talk nonsense while I do. <laughs> and thank you very much, Calcium. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.